Ready, set, go. Hey guys, welcome to Game Boys. Game Boys. Yeah, this is West of Loathing. I know yes. a whole lot about this game. I don't know anything he, about he this He doesn't game. know anything about this game. This is a Stickman Cowboy. I'm going to turn this down, because that is too much, man. Blast it. Um, this is a Stickman Cowboy game. Uh, I have just about as much respect for this game as I do for Red Dead Redemption. Oh, wow. This is Red Complete. Dead... Red Dead Dead. Yeah, Red Dead... Redemption. Wanted for protagonizing. Uh, edit your name. Oh, wait. White knight. We gotta shoot. Light. We gotta shoot it when. Oh, bam, yeah. bam. Change Reward. your character. Change your character. Reward that much meat. Oh, I see. Ah. Leon Littlefield, Orson, Orson Thompson, Thompson, Corbin, Corbin Masterson. Son. Heathcliff Hollister. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's the dice? Felice. Oh, I think that's random. Oh, okay. Felice Barkley. Katarina Barkley. Kitty Cogburn. Kitty Cogburn. I like Kitty Cogburn. For and our reward is ninety-six Nine. meat. That's I'm gonna put that up a little bit. Edit your name. Edit your name. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll stick just go with this. Kitty yeah. Cogburn. Play as Kitty Cogburn. We're Kitty ready Cogburn. to get going, are oh, yeah. you? I'm so ready. No. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Alright, I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. There's a cow puncher, bean slinger, or a snake oiler. What are we, what are we thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking about slinging those beans. Slinging them beans? <laughs> sling some beans. Let's sling some beans. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in Loathing, and the Beanslinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, mm. but due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Ah, of course. Do I want to be a Beanslinger? Yeah, or we don't want to be yeah? a Beanslinger. All, right, All day slinging long. Beans. Slinging those beans. S those sweet, sweet beans. Okay. What a care for model. You read The Spine of Winter Root Books, Jesse Jones and the Mystery of the Forgotten Bridge. I read that one ten times. Read another title. The Adventure that, at the Forgotten Gulch. So, I remember that one. Yeah, I don't even own it, so I hope Herb so. Drew and the Secret of the Dark Hospital. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Mm. Vera Bobsey and the Trouble at Vulture Bridge. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Classic Rufus. We can, yeah. we can only imagine that Rufus would. Oh yeah. Johnny Bobsey and the Trouble at Eagle House. So one of one of my one favorites. Of the, one of the flagship books. <laughs> trouble books. at Zombie Grove. Dad gave you that when you were a kid. Okay. Oh, oh, oh we're, going we're heading out. Oh no, we're, we're just heading to our own living room. What a what mess. A mess. Let's stack this. Hey. hey, we did it. Got some. We got one XP. One XP. One big old chunk of XP. Nothing on the hat rack today. Nope. Is that, is that an expression or is it? You know, where is mom? I uh, I don't know. Probably out slinging beans. Maybe. It's mom's pie safe. <laughs> Keeps all her pies safe. Yeah, understandably so. Everybody. All right. Miss me. Yeah. Where does this go? Oh, my little, my little brother's little room. Brother's is room. this Rufus? Classic Rufus. Classic Rufus. It's covered with all of his weird diagrams and charts. Because little brothers just do that. He's a freaking nerd. Nerd? It's let's, a kid brother's toy box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a puzzle cube. Nice. We can puzzle some cubes. Sorry, yeah. Puzzle Inventory. cube. Your gear. One of your kid... Should we fiddle with it? Fiddle with it. Fiddle with it. Nice. Hey. Hooray. Hooray. Alright. We nailed it. We did it. Uh, let's look at his bed. So, so tidy. tidy. So tidy. So just like Rufus. Darn tidy. Freaking Rufus. Alright, let's get outside. Hey. Hello. My family's farm. Is this mother? Probably. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. <laughs> How could you leave us, kid? We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yeah, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Uh, the one about picking locks, desert survival, or barbering? Picking locks, Picking I feel. locks. Yeah. 
What about picking locks? Oh boy. Careful out there, write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. I immediately forgot. What's our character? Kitty Cogburn. Kitty Cogburn. Yeah. Kitty's got a nice low voice. Yeah. Hey, is this. Oh, this is. This Pop. is Dad. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. <laughs> Same. Is it that dad? That hat doesn't fit you, Dad? Sure. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. This Listen, lip I want you to... a little. <laughs> Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. You got the can of infinite beans. I've never wanted anything else in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. All right. Oh, this. This is Rufus. This winner over here. This this pal. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. He is. Give him this puzzle, puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? Uh... Ah, uh, you pick. <laughs> um, to get off the stupid farm. Rufus, you know how much I hate it here. I can't stay. I've got to go where the action is. I already forgot what voice I gave him. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go to the west get killed within a year, and that statistic comes from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. I'll be slinging beans. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad, and I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. <laughs> Thanks. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. He, coll <laughs> he collapses immediately. He immediately dies of consumption. <laughs> <laughs> Not of impact from the punch. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have the option to dig through the haystack. We did absolutely do. Dig through it. Got a needle in a haystack. Hey, that ain't so bad. All um, right, what's over here? I don't know if there's anything. There's trees. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Let's go. And I guess it's actually go west, young woman. Yes. Ye. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Look at that. Oh, uh, Zach Johnson. Classic. Classic Zach. Classic Zach. <laughs> cinematographer? Absolutely. I'm already Look enjoying the it. cinematography of this. For sure. Film man. <laughs> Kevin Simmons. Kevin, what are you doing? Kevin's doing his best. <laughs> Dialectical. <laughs> riff crime. <laughs> Please don't riff me. <laughs> and, you and you spelled my name wrong. Stunt <laughs> coordinator. Oh, uh, Wes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we're just throwing turnips in the air. Key grip. Key grip. <laughs> they, they're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom operator. <laughs> Ryan, I don't know if this There's... game ever could have came together, with, came together without him. 200 miles later. Oh. This is gonna be. This is gonna have the same charm as freaking Four Last Things. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fell off. With our turnip. We, well, we, we at least got a turnip. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that card and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town. Get up and dust ourselves off. The town of Boring Springs. This, nice. BS. BS horsery. <laughs> this horsery sucks. Sign on the door reads Gone Drinking. I think we found our uh, horseman right here. Hello, sir. Hello. Him. Him. Bar. <laughs> that's that's how this guy hiccups. <laughs> he hiccups Makes the with his noise. entire yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> crap. Oh, that's actually crap. Yeah. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the shore shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Who hey, was your hat, Dan Nabbit? Well, uh... You can't drink in here without a hat. Tank proper. I... Hope your taint's proper. <laughs> <laughs> he points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Oh, um, Let's take, check out that take box. Take a hat, leave a hat. Uh, Bye. Uh, 
You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Yeah. Grab it. It's a barely enchanted hat. Thanks, uh... Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, uh, if somewhat uh, twitchy uh, nod. Uh, say, gal! Yeah? Heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to... Uh, come along, just let me know. Well, uh... No pressure, Norton. I right, just want to... keep it in uh, mind. Oh boy, the spit. <laughs> let me tell you about the spit. Spit? It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know without even looking in that it's absolutely disgusting. Alright, so I guess the only option is, is to look we, in. We look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. Nice. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Okay, so I guess we gotta we look, look closer. We okay, look yeah, closer. Yeah, of course. Okay. You are now on your hands and knees peering into a filthy crusted spittoon. I don't... I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Okay, Let's sure. Let's gotta right, get, get it. it. Yeah, great. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness oh. in the air. Okay. Like a greasy fog and enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. Okay. You hesitate. Mm. Never surrender. Never surrender. Yeah. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. Ugh. It makes it sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Okay. All right. Well. So we gotta search. We've come yeah. this far. Yeah. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. Mm -hmm. You appear to have sought and gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Hooray. Yeah, not a, he got the nasty ring. We did it. Great. Okay. Glad that Let's we Let's check that. it out. Okay. What's this nasty ring? Oh, plus one muscle, plus one mysticality, and plus one moxie. Solid. We did it. Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. <laughs> Solid. Absolutely. Uh, do well, I, is that ones. just already equipped? In... Same with the hat. It looks like we're Character? just wearing the hat. Mm-hmm. Base and current is different, so I think we yeah, okay, cool. probably yeah. All right, nice. Oh boy, well isn't this place full of characters? <laughs> hey, sleepy boy. <laughs> These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Good luck, you two. We don't have any. Meat. We don't have enough meat to weigh in. Yeah. Let's talk to this uh, this fellow it's with like the, the bartender. With yeah. The, with the nice top hat. Walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading "Reward for lost mugs, twenty-five meat each." We're gonna keep waiting. Get our hands on some meat. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkey. What? Name's Kitty. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs has already more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad. People up by dirt water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What do we want to know about? Ah, uh, d d dirt water. D dirt water. D d dirt water. Dirt wall. Dirt water is interesting. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned up to the ground by damned cows. Lots of opportunity there. She pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep. If I were a younger woman. I'd probably head that way myself. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's ask about the railroad. Railroad. Railroad? The Manifest oh, no. Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. <laughs> and they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing. Or another big company. 
that. <laughs> you mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg has always fallen apart, one way or another. The holster's always needing help since he hurt his legs, and there's no account sure if you're in the helm again. This is taking too long. <laughs> sure, yeah, you're telling me. Stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Yeah, well, I've got a goblin in the basement. <laughs> some cowpoke from the gulch didn't wipe off his boots and got spores everywhere. Right. I can probably, we can probably we handle, can handle a goblin. goblin. Gerblins. I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh. And you'll need this. <laughs> got some weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. All right, we got some MF fungicide. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of that goblin. We're gonna in the next episode deal with some gerblins. This is, this is if if you tried to keep it like Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> but also it's all cowboys. Yeah, basically Deadlands. Yeah, basically. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you have, if if you have ideas about what else you think we might find in that spittoon, put those in the comments. If you have a gerblin problem in your basement, just call us too. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. The only our only fee is to take care of the the fungicide. Yeah. So we're open for hire. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, those are both things you can do. Yeah. We'll see you later.